I know by the grace of God that God has something special for every one of us. And as long as we live on this mother earth, we should know that we are not just here by accident. God has a special purpose for sending you here. You can change your world. It's not just enough to grumble. To complain. In Abuja about two days ago. Came back yesterday. No day and so what? You see, almost everywhere we go, we find that there are so much that need to be changed. Yeah, we People grumble over all things. There's one guy in the land. You are not sure of anything. The only thing you are sure of is that when there's night, there will be day. As far as Nigeria is concerned. People came to the airport, they are afraid to take the road. And even going through the, uh, the air, you are even afraid. You are afraid. Your time of movement and getting to that place is not even sure. No one is even sure of tomorrow. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. We need to change our world. They told us a funny story of a gorilla who stole a man who was sleeping in the farm. They saw him sleeping and they just carried him and said, let's carry him to where we are going before we start eating. The man woke up to see that he was on gorilla's head. He was on gorilla's head. He was on gorilla's head. He He was on He was and cling to that branch. So the gorilla was still going like that. But when they got to where they were going, the meat was no more there. When they Past that place, the man quickly stepped down and ran away. And these people started quarreling. Where, where is the meat we are carrying? And one among them said, I noticed at the time. The load was not as heavy as it used to be. And he said, let us go back to that place. When they got there, they saw the footprint of the man. And the man was no more there. And he said, I said it. I know when the load started getting very light. My question is, you are a Nigerian. 
Don't you know when things started changing for the bad, for the worse? Is it what we were experiencing seven, ten years ago we are experiencing today? Many of the Nigerians do not even know. Let's get to discover where we miss it. Something has gone wrong in Nigeria. I want to let you understand one thing. Rulership is not by might. It is by God. It is God who chooses leader. An early leader not chosen by God. We not get the wisdom to rule Nigeria. It is not by mind. Not by power. But by the spirit of the living God. We may not be active politicians. I cannot be I cannot be full politician myself. We need to let our people know that we need change in Nigeria. And only one who has the fear of God can rule this nation. I don't what whatever uh, position party you belong to, that is not what I'm saying. We are concerned about who God is sending, raising up to lead us. You give the story of Nigeria to somebody who has not the fear of God. Who will give Nigerians to the enemy? Then God is going to hold us responsible. You cannot say that I am not one of those who elected that person. Do not give your vote to an enemy of God. Jesus said, they, that not, they who are not with us, they are against us. We pray that God will deliver this nation. Today it's difficult for many people to feed. And some of you may not eat rice. Eat rice for at least once in a week is too much. Plantain that we used to reject. To buy a head of plantain now is 6,000. We need to go back. Let us not be deceived. We have been deceived into believing what is not real. But this time, let us not be deceived. Go out and vote. And if you have not registered, 
try to register before time. I pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name.